In this video, we're going to cover a little bit about Moodle rubrics, which are a specific kind of assessment related to Moodle assignments and Moodle forums. We're going to pretend that we're doing an assignment in which we have a course objective that students will produce and deliver meals, and we have a module objective that's going to be specific to our assignment that students will cook breakfast and students will present breakfast in bed. So as an instructor, I've designed on paper in advance or a Google Doc, a rubric that is going to include different categories or criterion and different levels of success for students. And this example comes from a blog post by Jennifer Gonzalez called Holistic Analytic and Single Point Rubrics. The link is in the description to this video. So again, in this case, we have criterion, then we have the level or performance indicators at different levels. So let's take a look at what that looks like in Moodle. So here I am as an example in Moodle, and this is my assignment, which I can tell from the icon. So I'm going to click on what is the most common type of rubric, which is an analytic or descriptive rubric. And this is probably the one that works the best in Moodle. So I've set up my assignment, and when I'm creating my assignment, one of the options is an advanced grading method instead of a simple direct grading method. And I can choose rubric or grading guide for these advanced types. When I create the rubric, as an instructor, I will see that it's very similar looking to the sample I looked at and created first. So again, I see each of the criterion and I see my different levels and there are points associated with each of those levels. I also have some additional settings. Students will see this rubric as well. And then when it's time for me to grade assignments, I will see the submitted student work in one view. And then I will see my rubric options in another section of the page and I can review the student's work, and then select each column and each set of different points. I can add comments and then total comments or feedback, including audio feedback. And the grade will be calculated based on the levels that I chose for student performance. And that's the grade that will translate into the gradebook. So let's take a look at how I set that up. I'm going to go down to a section of my course in Moodle and choose add an activity or resource. For this sample, I'll choose assignment, but this would also work in a forum. So I'm just going to put sample essay because essays are a type of example of an assignment that people might use a rubric for. And then just scroll down to grade, even though I'd certainly want to pay attention to the other settings within a Moodle assignment. So here I have my option for simple direct grading, which is the default, or I have grading guide and rubric options. I'm going to choose rubric and then scroll down to save and display. This is, I'm choosing save and display because now I want to set up the rubric. If you have a rubric you've used in the past, you can choose a grading form from something you have created or there is one sample rubric that you can choose and then edit. In this example, I'm going to go back to advanced grading and create a grading form from scratch. So I will again include the assignment here, or maybe I plan on using this rubric for multiple essay assignments. So I might just title it essay rubric. I can describe anything I want my students to see about it. And then I can start adding my criterion and my levels. So in this case, it's helpful to be able to flip back and forth or to be able to um, have this open in another window or another tab so you can copy and paste between your draft of your rubric and actual Moodle. Here, I'm going to go ahead and type a typical e example from an essay. So I'll just put introduction. Then I can put what my top sort of lowest score or top score is. In this case, this example has 0, 1, 2, but I do like to have the left side with that student see first be their top score. So I'm going to here say, you know, um, advanced writing skills, thorough introduction. 
Now, I'd want to spend some time in advance really thinking about what's going to go in to my max points level. And then I'll want to have sort of my medium level of um, solid introduction could be more creative or something to that effect. And then I may, I'll adjust my points. I might have a sort of level where it's really showing what students need to work on. So at this level, I could say something to the effect of needs more detail or evidence or something like that and make that my lowest point. And I often like to have a category that is worth zero points so that it makes it easier for grading later if something is entirely missing. Hopefully someone wouldn't miss the introduction for a paper, but that's just kind of an example of something I might want to include for zero points. So now I have one criterion and I have my different levels. I then can use this very small duplicate button to duplicate that same row and then just edit each of the different, the criterion label for maybe research or citations or whatever my next section of my writing example is and I can then adjust each level. I can also remove an entire level if this particular criterion has fewer examples of what I want evidence for, and I can change the point value if this particular category is more important or this criterion is more important. So I have all of those controls, and then I do have some settings. Most people will leave the settings the same, but remember that you can use the question mark if you wanna get help understanding a specific setting, and you can use the question mark in the lower right corner to get to the specific Moodle article that will help you understand rubrics more. I also do recommend, again, in sort order for levels, that we descend by the number of points so that our top points are what students see first, what they're striving for. So then I can save my rubric and make it ready. And now when students view this assignment, let's take a look at what that looks like. So I'm gonna go back out to my course and take a look at, again, this sample essay assignment. But in this case, I will switch my role to a student role Scroll down and find that assignment, click on it. And as the student, here I see that rubric, so I know what the criterion are that I will be graded on in this assignment. So that's just a little basic way of how to set up a descriptive or analytic rubric for an assignment in Moodle.